Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for all your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video. And today I'm going to be talking about Mixed Legions again. What are the best combinations for Mixed Legions? Now before I get started, you'll see right above me, I'm actually using uh, the combo sheet, uh, the Legion sheet that is put together by Don Pavlon from state 96 and helped with the testing by barber from state 25 so thank you to both of you for allowing me to use your content as always and i'm going to be scrolling through the uh sheet above me kind of covering every options that are available now as they state on the sheet there is no ranking for these combos per se um, and also a lot of the data is based on information from last shelter survival our sister game quite often some things trend like transfer or uh, when heroes come into uh, rise of empires then some of them are nerfed like we've seen with rainforest ranger like we are actually seeing this season with um healer l and uh, poison master both of the X sx10 heroes um, they're not as strong as we were expecting uh, because some of their skills have been nerfed compared to last shelter survival so I'm going to kind of uh, scroll through all of these options and also um, talk a little bit about why I think they're good combos. And I'll be putting up some combos on the right hand side of the screen. So for those of you that don't want to wait and listen to me talking about specific combos, you can just skip to the end of the video and kind of all of the key combos um, that are in use will be on the right hand side or most of them. Now I would like to point out that um, I'm trying to cover all aspects of the game from when you initially get Dragon Master gear. So this is, I haven't done a video on mixed combos for about 13 months. So that's why there will be a bit of repetition because during the previous video uh, that I did on this back in February, 2021, we were only up to SX six heroes, Warhammer and Warden. And obviously we've had the seven, eight, nine and 10 all come in since then. So let's get cracking. I'm gonna just scroll down to the bottom of these options and I am just going to uh, sorry about the quality of the um, images hopefully they'll be okay for you um, on uh, like smaller screens so like the first options we've got um, actually we well you can have like liberator for instance um, or on the front row that's quite a common option or uh, you've got brave scarlet reaver army with um, either Fortune Teller or Bleeding Steed and then um, Eagle on the back or the next row you can see Liberator with Scander with um, Eagle on the back. I'm going to show a bit more about that in a minute. Uh, but the first combo that I'm going to actually show which isn't initially on here but in terms of time frame in the game and that is Sakura, Rosen and Spectral Reaper. So obviously Sakura is an SX1 hero, Spectral Reaper is part of the SX2 group of eight heroes. Um, so this is one of the first mixed combos that you're going to be able to come across in the game. And the reason it's really good is because there is so much concentrated front damage with this group. Because um, with Rosen, she is giving you um, extra chances uh, for basic attacks and also causing suppression. Um, she's giving... Here's the, uh, the extra chance, 70% chance to deal two basic attacks. She's increasing combat speed, which is going to help, help your archers. And then she does extra damage as well. When you mix that with Sakura, who is doing an awful lot of damage in the first kind of three rounds, she's going to do, uh, she's going to allow you to move first, guaranteed two random squads are going to move first in your group. And then First three turns, two random enemy squads are going to take 50% extra damage and two of your random friendly squads are going to give 50% extra damage. So if that does pair up with Spectral Reaper doing extra basic attacks where he's got um, his passive skills, that's going to all like add up to a lot of damage and I covered that in more detail in my previous Mixed Combos video. Next up is this combination of Liberator, Bleeding Steed and um jade eagle now as you can see in the chart above you can mix it up like you can have lawman you could have uh on the front row instead of liberator you can uh, move these guys so the bleeding steed is on the front row if you want back row it doesn't have to be jade eagle i'm just looking at it from the option like some people might actually have five sets of dragon master gear and they want to use five different sets of mixed legions uh potentially 
you know you might be le you might be able to use this um, combination so that you get Liberator involved and Jade Eagle involved. The reason that Liberator is so good with Jade Eagle is a couple of reasons really. Um, first off, his fifth skill is going to help give 70% chance to so clear-minded on the back row so your back row is immune to silencing, disarm, suppression and confusion. Uh, that's really important for um, Jade Eagle because he's got those comb uh, his combat skills that do require prep. And then also with Liberator, if he's allowing Jade Eagle to get off those skills, then from the fourth round, 40% of the damage that your back row does will be converted into droops for the front row. So that can be, if Jade Eagle was getting off the Jade Eagle skill, that's gonna be a massive amount of healing. And then when you put Bleeding Steed in with it as well, well, Bleeding Steed is awesome uh, doing the, you know, you've got the extra damage, uh, you've, you've got um, the high chance of confusing the enemy, and then you've got almost guaranteed healing or very um, repetitive healing combine that with the extra healing that Liberate is doing and potentially all that damage that Jade Eagle could be doing. Uh, that's why this is kind of like a, it's an it's an okay combo. You don't see it being run too often, to be honest, later in, late in the later stages of the game. But for those of you that are in maybe SX, uh, well, if you're, uh, yeah, if I mean, obviously Liberate comes out in SX5. So if you're in SX5 and you're looking for a few options for mixed legions, this is one of the options you could run with the heroes that you have at that time. Um, Again, these are not ranked, but like the here's, I'm just gonna scroll up and so you can see a few different combinations. Obviously you can pause it at any time. And uh, the next combination that I'm gonna talk about is a very common combination that you're going to have seen um, also in the original video, which is Hunk, Warden, Spectral Reaper. Now this is a combination that you are gonna see even up to SX10, you're gonna see it regularly. I've seen it so often this season in Eden. Um, obviously, Hunk, he, when the squad takes damage, 25% chance to evade and immune to this damage, 50% chance each turn to increase squad damage by 50%. So he does do extra damage. His fifth skill, 30% chance to make two random enemy skills within range to enter confused and flammable status. So he has confusion as well, which is really good and um, basic attacks target random targets, take 50% additional burning damage, so that's okay. But then here's the main thing with him, which is his ape skill for the first six turns. All friendly squads um, have additional combat speed, which is good for um, the pairing him with archers. And then 50% of the damage will be tallied on turn seven. Now with this delaying of the damage, it's good if you can actually kill an opponent by the sixth round, the end of the sixth round, but obviously otherwise on turn seven, you just get a big build up for all the damage that you've received. So um, the jury's out on like, whether this is effective over like an eight round battle. But the thing is with Hunk is obviously he pairs up with Warden nicely because Warden buffs the fifth skill of the two heroes in the same Legion with him. So actually, um, what is it? The first three or four turns, Warden is gonna increase this to a 40% chance to do the flammable um, status which is increasing the damage and the confusion status and then there's an extra 30% chance um, from turn 5 I think it is for one of the um, other heroes in the squad so potentially you're getting a lot of extra uh, confusion which is very effective and this is a this is a combination obviously with Warden with Spectral Reaper you're going to see um, Warden is giving Spectral Reaper that extra basic attack each round uh, which is important because Spectral Reaper has on his skill to a passive skill um, and this is so you've got a chance of this happening activating twice 742% damage each time his fifth skill is increasing to 50% chance at least every time and this is increasing your basic attack damage by 60% which is important because he is a pure basic attack hero. His eighth skill is giving 100% extra increased damage from basic attacks. You're actually buffing that with his basic attacks by 160%. So that's why this combo works so well. Um, I just want to make a little point about the hero chart above. So you can see the hero on line one above me on the front row. That's actually the image of the SX11 hero from last, um, last year of survival. So this hero is gonna be coming out next season. And the hero is basically um, a new version of Beast Queen is a simplified version, but she's gonna do sim similar things to Beast Queen basically. And uh, as we keep on going up, let's talk about the fourth combo. So for those of you that do hit SX6, um, Lawman, Steed, and Warhammer 
is a combo that again you're going to see an awful lot because um, there's so much healing that it's a very defensive um, solid unit so um, it's really hard to break down this combination and um, with Warhammer Warhammer is targeting if you're up against a fellow healing legion like with an army breaker in it for instance then Warden's going to restrict um, all of the healers in your opponent's squad um, so this is quite a common defensive uh, mixed combo that we're seeing um, after SX6 basically um, as you can see above we've got um, Lawman with Fortune Teller and um, Scarlet Reaver again I don't a lot of these combinations I'm not really seeing but obviously if you're a small spender and you maybe have one set of Dragon Master gear or you have a couple of sets of Dragon Master gear and you don't have all the heroes then at least this chart gives you a few options um, like you you know putting um, Skander or Steed on the front row with a Lust on the middle row and then another killer hero on the back row like an Avalanche, um, Ashen Verdict or and all the way up to SX10 Poison Master. Um, there's lots of different options open for you and there we go you can see we've got this Lawman Bleeding Steed Warhammer combination and again you can I would all I personally would keep Lawman on the front row because she's got that counter attack skill. Um, and now we're getting up to kind of the top options available as well. Um, another comment just to make so you'll see this hero uh, in front of Warhammer. Um, he is the other SX11 hero in, I think he's an archer hero in LSS, so that's why those images are not familiar. Um, all the way up to the top. So let's have a look at the next combo that I want to talk about, which is Rosen Warden. Ranger. Now, some people are running this as well quite often. Uh, again, it's all about getting the most out of Ranger because Ranger has uh, does kind of synergize well with um, with Rosen because she has um, on this see on her second skill damage. This hero's squad deals ignores twenty five percent of the enemy squad's basic resistance. For the first three turns, this hero squad's normal attacks lock onto the enemy squad in the same position as this hero squad and ignores double the amount of basic resistance. So obviously with, again, um, with Rosen giving extra basic attacks in the first three turns and Warden giving Ranger extra basic attacks, then you can actually have scenarios where she is doing three basic attacks and when her... Fifth skill and eighth skill are both passive attacks, which are only going to trigger after basic attacks. You're giving yourself sometimes three chances for both of these skills to activate, and you're doing all of this extra damage. So um, this is a combo that you're seeing quite a bit. Um, I would say that also people are pairing Rosen with Warden and Reaper if instead of Hunk. Um, that's quite a common combo as well, and um, it just depends on how you want to use the heroes that you have available to you. Um, top top of the list here is um, another attacking combo. So this is one that I've been running a little bit, which is uh, Brave Ragnar Lust. Uh, the reason that these guys all work together is all to do with CCing. So Brave obviously does uh, disarming and silencing. Ragnar has his fifth skill, which gives that 70% extra damage to uh, opponent squads that are suffering from CC plus he has his confusion skill on his ape skill and then if we look at lust as well um, she is going to do poison which is okay but then um, her fifth skill is 50% um, chance to deal 450% damage to two random enemy squads and make them enter confusion state which then again synergizes with what um, Ragnar is doing and then um, all of the, all your squads are immune to two lots of confusion and in uh, when it's her squad's turn to act deals 250% damage to enemy squads in statuses of silence disarm suppress or confusion each round i often see lust doing about 14 or 15 skills um again is this like is this a totally op combination no like a lot of people like to just run with Brave, Ragnar, and Avalanche, just a full cavalry hero. But obviously, this is a mixed Legion video, so I'm just trying to give all the kind of key, kind of regular options that you're seeing uh, being run in all different levels of the game, at all different stages, whether you're, and again, depending on the heroes that you have, because as you can see, some of these heroes are actually S3 heroes, all the way up to SX9, SX10 heroes. Um, and you would have seen probably 
for instance, on the chart as I've scrolled through, um, you would have seen that you can swip, swap out um, Bleeding Steed in the Lawman Bleeding Steed Warhammer combo. You can put like Lawman um, Hellfire um, if, and Warhammer if you want a really defensive combo. And you've probably seen health again, like just in, in the current screen, uh, you can see like Steed with uh, Warhammer and Hellfire. Um, so there's, lo there's lots of different options available for you. You could put, Steed is gonna pair well with, um, potentially gonna pair well with Lust pretty well because Steed has got a lot of confusion from his fifth skill. That works with Lust's eighth skill as well. And then finally, obviously we do have the two new SX10 heroes in the game, Poison Master and L. Unfortunately, I don't have Poison Master and I've only got one copy of L so far. I've only got one copy of Scarlet Reaver actually, but um, this, these latest heroes, as you might have seen, they are in some of the other combos as well, lower down, like um, you can use, for instance, Army Breaker, with Poison Master and then any of these four heroes um, and potentially I've seen some battle reports of um, Scarlet Reaver with Poison Master and with Healer. Obviously Healer is doing um, a lot of guaranteed healing from her fifth skill. She's also um, she's also going to be uh, doing potentially healing from her second skill and she does also take 50% of the damage away from that front row and that's why you can put like a, a ranged hero that might be weaker doesn't have hp on the front row and uh, then with poison master i'm going to have to scroll all the way down so poison master his skills are activating based on um, combat skills being uh, cast so uh, when all allied squads cast skills but this is combat skills there's a 50 percent chance to poison a random enemy squad Poison rate is 100, last two rounds, and is stackable three layers. And he he works really well with Scarlet Reaver because Scarlet Reaver has three combat skills. Oh, clicked into Ranger. Don't pair them with Ranger, that's not gonna work. But Scarlet has um, on her skill two, 100% chance to deal that combat skill. And then she's got her fifth skill is a 40% chance and then eighth skill, oh, it's a prep skill. but. You, so Scarlet is one of the heroes that is going to give you a lot of combat skills. So is Army Breaker. All three of his skills are, are combat skills. And that's why they synergize well together. So um, there you go, guys. That is the current kind of full range of uh, mixed legions available in the game. As I say, um, the most common ones that you're going to see are almost certainly on the right-hand side of me now. Um, certainly, you know, Hunk, Warden... Uh, Spectral Reaper is still very commonly used, as is Lawman Steed and Warhammer. Um, it just depends again, and also, yeah, like I said, Rosen with Warden, and then either Ranger or Reaper. Um, it just depends on how many sets of Dragon Master gear you have, and also um, if how many cavalry heroes you have, and whether you want to balance out having those strong cavalry legions, like potentially um, just having Army Breaker, Hellfire, Avalanche, for instance. Um, if you notice, I haven't actually. Uh, included avalanche in any of these key combinations on the right hand side so I just think quite often you're more likely going to be using avalanche uh, like if you look at my squads as you can see my class legion I'm using brave Ragnar avalanche uh, right now so there you go guys that is uh, everything for this video I help, hope you found it helpful I know people have been asking me for a mixed legions video for a while um, if you have enjoyed it and found it helpful please do click on the like button down below and if you please share this video and my channel in your lunch chat province chat through line whatsapp viber discord whatever you use to come communicate with your fellow players in the game that would be very much appreciated and if uh, you have any comments on all of these combinations maybe there's a key combo that i've missed out um, then please do obviously pop it in the comments section down below i'll be interested to hear um, if anyone is finding any luck uh, from any different combinations not listed here and uh, yeah that's it for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon